Happy New Year, everybody. I think I'm finally over the flu, and I have a really good idea to make up for not uploading a video for the past almost month. I'm gonna try to make a Bluetooth speaker out of rubber chickens. Look at how weird, like, vacuum sealed, so they look disgusting. <laughs> These poor things. It's not wanting to inflate, it's staying down, so I don't know if I'm... <laughs> I know what I have to do. <laughs> it's as bad for you as it is for me, man. Hopefully these start inflating over time. And the reason that I got four is because it was actually cheaper to get four than just to get one, so... Yeah, they all kind of have that thousand yard stare. I think the first thing I'm going to focus on is the hardware, so how I'm going to get these to... My plan is to use this little 12 volt push-pull solenoid to actuate the chickens. It can push and pull with 45 newtons of force, so that's about 10 pounds. I'm thinking that that's enough for the chickens. I might have to increase the surface area of the little pin here on the end, just so it can move more volume of air in the chicken so it can squawk. And then after that, I'll figure out how to set it off to music. Can y'all see a difference between these two? Neither can I. <laughs> I'm not using the same transistor as last time. Come to find out that the TIP120 is actually not useful in this situation because it's... Uh... The TIP120 transistor actually has two of the NPN transistor MOSFETs inside of it. Transistor MOSFET, I'm still learning the lingo. What this results in is the TIP120 being a lot more sensitive. However, due to the relatively high internal resistance of the TIP120, it actually draws quite a bit of power. This is bad because it means the transistor is gonna heat up in my application where I'm pushing through two and a half amps and I'm gonna need to put on a heatsink. So in comes the 30N06L MOSFET. It's less sensitive, but it's perfect for my application. This one needs to cool 4.6 watts. This one needs to cool 0.16 watts. So, all right, now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna talk about what I have right here. So here I have my Arduino Mega, which is connected to my prototyping board that I have my circuit on, and it's powering the solenoid. So far I've gotten everything to work on just the example blink sketch. Next up, I'm gonna be taking this audio analyzer and seeing if I can make the solenoid activate on either the bass or hi-hats or... I'm gonna use these earbuds as the Bluetooth receiver, and these are old, only one side works, so uh, I'm just gonna salvage them and turn them into this. You know, I still don't quite know how much y'all want to see or how much I should record. Right now I just kind of record everything and then afterwards I edit out and make it look better. If you feel like commenting down below telling me how much you want to see, if you want to see me strip every single wire and do all of the soldering or if you just want to see the final product, I was actually thinking of maybe breaking up my videos into two kind of like Colin Furs does where it's you know the build video and then the short video that actually shows the product because I like posting my stuff to Reddit and you know spreading it around to show my friends and I know that there's quite a few people that see the projects and they don't really care about the engineering and like ingenuity kind of side of it they just want to see the final thing so if i do that for this video don't get mad at me <laughs> right now i'm just wanting to put more of these kind of cables on this side and i'm just going to have them go out and have a common ground between the two and have left channel and right channel i can break it out to whatever connection i want to Okay, I think I've got a breakthrough. I've got it working off of music. Right now I have it on where it hits on the hi-hats, or like on the, the highest frequency, and then I can change it to where it's just bass. I'm gonna connect to this an audio output, like a female, a uh, 3.5 millimeter, and I'm gonna connect something to it, and I'm gonna try to treat this as just like a subwoofer, or we can listen to the song pretty much at the same time that the beat is going off on that, and we can see if it's properly synced up or not. And here's the code that I'm working with. Of course, I'm gonna include it and include where I got it from, but right now I've got it to the pin number two is going off at 63 hertz, and then you can see all the hertz, different frequency values going up for each pin. I had it on the highest one, and I'm gonna change it up and get it to where we can listen to the song and see how the solenoid goes off at the different frequencies. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a techno song, see if that works. Oh, I'm gonna so get copyrighted for this. I'll just, I'll fast forward the video to the part where it starts bumping. Come on, it can do it. Hunter. <laughs>
Oh, I need to rewind that part. Hold on. I don't know how I'm going to be able to edit this without getting copyrighted for using that song, but oh my god, if I can get the chicken to go with it, I'm going to die. That's what's up next, and if parts of the video get really quiet and random music goes over it, that's because I had to trim it down because I got copyrighted. This was my original idea of what I wanted to make to hold the chicken and the solenoid. And here's hopefully a short clip of me making it in SolidWorks. Okay, so I've got the solenoid modeled and the little contraption that I think is going to work with this. It's going to kind of fork the top of the chicken's neck and then grab here. The solenoid's going to go in the middle and it's going to... At least that's what I hope is going to happen. <laughs> I've just got to get this and convert it to an STL and send it to my printer. And I should have it maybe later tonight, probably tomorrow morning. You know, looking at this thing, it kind of looks like Sputnik. <laughs> the first little satellite that went to space from Russia. All it's got to do is hold the solenoid to poke a chicken. It'll make sense in a second. Okay, original idea, you saw the SolidWorks, and here it is. <laughs> it does look like Sputnik. I say Sputnik because a Russian person once told me that it's Sputnik, not Sputnik, so... I think the print came out pretty good. So, it's gonna sit with the solenoid in here. There's a little bit of wiggle room, but that's what I wanted, just so I could adjust how far in and out it goes. I'm gonna use these holes that are threaded in here to just fix this to inside of here. And how this goes on the chicken is it goes on Look at that, that's gonna, that's gonna work. <laughs> All right, I know I said to make this thing move a larger volume of air, I was gonna probably add something to the tip of this, but I don't wanna increase the mass of this because I want it to retract as fast as possible and extend as fast as possible. So what I came up with is just add a piece of plastic or a coin or something right here that's solid. So when this pushes it, it adds more surface area and thus it moves a larger volume of air. I hope that makes sense. Now I'm gonna assemble the chicken holder. The holes line up to hold this in place and I can use just a couple shims to straighten this part out. What I gotta do now is shorten these screws so they don't go all the way through this coil. So I need to use my lathe again. I just have to say this real quick. There comes a time in everyone's life where they have to look at all of their past experiences, their life, their childhood, their education and really think about how all of those things lined up to bring them to what they're doing today. Why do you work? Obviously, I'm not gonna be using painter's tape to hold this on. I'm gonna get a more solid method to connect it. Even if it's just zip ties, that'll work for now. So once all this is pushed up and I have a larger surface area to make more of a it's gonna sound a lot better. And once I fix those couple things, I believe I'm done with hardware and then it's just programming the chicken to make it sound good. At the very least, I'm gonna have a rubber chicken subwoofer and I know I said I was gonna make a Bluetooth speaker. I could probably do that later once I get more solenoids, but these things are expensive, like 20 something. I believe I can still make it work if I set it in the programming to go off on certain drum beats. So I could play some games with my friends and see if they can figure out what song it is just based on the it should be fun. I really am putting my degree to work. I hope I'm making my old professors proud. All right, so I'm just gonna work on finalizing the mounting of the chicken and then work on its programming. That's a new sentence. Well guys and girl, I think I did it. I got the solenoid mounted, got the chicken mounted, just using some popsicle sticks. It works, okay. Found a cheap piece of zinc that was just laying around, stuck it to the back of the chicken as the larger surface area presser deal. And I am currently working on the code to make sure that it goes off at the right time during a song. With all that, I'm gonna end the build video here and I'm gonna start recording the video of the chicken working with music. I promise I will upload that within the next couple days. I'm not gonna take another month like this video. In fact, this video, I promise that I'm gonna get it out by January 27th. Thank you all for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And a quick plug, I try to post the projects that I'm working on to my Instagram first. So if you're interested or want a teaser, go follow me on Instagram. It's in the link below. And I'm still bad at outros, so I guess, uh...